Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today we actually got a pretty big uh, patch within Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And there's a lot of guns that got buffed and nerfed that you guys might not, not have known about. And, uh, you know, this patch update is kind of like something that was, you know, really not talked about heavily. But uh, I want to go over it with you guys because there is some pretty interesting information. Like I said, there's a lot of guns that got buffed or nerfed that, uh, you know, you really wouldn't have expected. So so, so getting off here, uh, they did have some general fixes for the patch. That's pretty much all they did. They didn't really, uh, you know, take away anything else or add anything. Just a couple of general fixes. So, uh, like, map exploits and stuff like that. And then the next up here, on occasions, players who have the RVN Axe or UDM in a loadout would no longer have access to the weapons and host migration. If a, if a host migration occurs, this has been fixed. And they added the RVN, UDM, and the Axe in Epic Gun Game. And a fix for an issue where uh, season pass holders on Xbox were not able to download the Sabotage DLC from the in-game. And uh, like I said, I don't have an Xbox, so I really don't know anything about that. Um, next up here, uh, fix an issue with the epic UDM doing too much damage in tactical TDM. This now matches the same damage rules as sniper rifles in tactical TDM. And then uh, next up here, fix for some users receiving the weapon Gratulon Super WM error after the last update. We, we actually, I've gotten that message a couple times, so uh, that message should not come up anymore. And then next up here, this is where it gets pretty interesting, guys. So the Type 2 and AR mode, slight increase to the fire rate and a decrease to the ADS recoil. So the Type 2 did get a pretty huge uh, buff in this recent patch. It, actually, it isn't live yet, just so you guys know, this patch is not live yet, but it should be coming out here within maybe uh, the next day or so. And then uh, next up here, the Volk increased to the to the three bullet hit kill range. So if you guys didn't know, Josie got actually tweeted about the Type Two and the Volk getting a uh, patch in this in the recent patch. So yeah, this is uh, what they're talking about. And then uh, next up here, the Titan slightly increased to the fire rate and it increased to the full to the four bullet hit kill range. Uh, for the K-Bar, slightly decreased to the 4 bullet hit kill range, so the K-Bar did get a nerf. And now for the NV4, slightly increased to the ADS recoil, so the NV4 did get a, uh, a pretty huge nerf. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm pretty curious to know how that's going to play out. And next up here, the Widowmaker reduced the delay between bullets within the burst. The DMR, slight decrease to the ADS time. The e EBR 800 AR mode increased the 5 bullet hit kill range. And the EBR 800 sniper mode reduced ADS sway speed. And the next up here for the Howitzer changes. Uh, the explosion radius increased, explosion damage more consistent. Damage to score streaks increased. VFX updated to better represent the explosion radius. Fix a bug where the projectile would play an explosion VFX without doing any damage. Fix a bug where the projectile could still explode after bouncing off a surface so the uh, howitzer actually did get a pretty huge buff so I want to try that out I've actually never used the howitzer before because I've heard it really wasn't that good but I'm gonna try it out now because it did get a pretty huge buff but uh, basically guys there's a lot of guns here that did get nerfed or buffed so I'm definitely curious to know how they're gonna play out because you know some of these guns were actually the meta for infinite warfare but uh, you know like the nv4 and the type 2 I, I really want to know how good the type 2 is gonna play out because that gun seems to be very very good it actually might be one of the most dominant guns in the game now like they really made a huge uh, buff on that gun so I want to try it out guys uh, but again this pa this patch is not live yet it's gonna be coming out probably within the next day maybe even a in a couple hours here and it's, yeah, if you guys didn't know actually they did remove the uh, the uh, accessory hack because apparently there's some glitches going on with that so they did remove that but the triple play bundle is actually still live so you guys can go buy that if you want uh, it only costs 400 keys, so that's actually not that bad of a deal because I think you can get 400 keys in like a week, which is uh, the amount of time the triple play bundle is going to last, and you get a pretty good deal with that. So I'm definitely going to be buying that as soon as uh, as soon as they can. So yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts about the patch down in the comments, and a drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And thank you all so much for watching. I'm Averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.